the sun before we hit the planets let's give a shout out to the star of the show the sun this giant ball of nuclear fire is 1.3 million times bigger than earth and powers the entire solar system it's a scorching 10,000 degrees fahrenheit 5,500 degrees celsius on the surface but at the core a mind melting 27 million degrees fahrenheit 15 million degrees celsius not exactly the place for a suntan unless you want to be vaporized instantly life here nope but it's thanks to the sun that life Life can exist on Earth. Fun fact, the sun's gravity is what keeps everything in the solar system, from planets to comets, tethered in orbit. It's also responsible for giving us daylight, so thanks sun for making sure we don't bump into things in the dark. It's about 93 million miles, 150 million kilometers from Earth, just the right distance to keep things cozy. Well, on Earth at least. Now, let's get to the planets. Mercury, the speed demon of the solar system. It's the closest planet to the sun and zips around in just 88 days. That's like having your birthday every three months. Talk about aging fast, but don't pack your sunscreen just yet. Daytime temperatures reach a crispy 800 degrees Fahrenheit, 427 degrees Celsius. But at night, brr, it drops to minus 330 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 201 degrees Celsius. That's a one, 130 degree swing. Yikes. As for life, well, unless you're a fan of getting fried and frozen in the same day, Mercury's not the place for you. Oh, and there's no atmosphere to keep you warm at night or cool during the day. Distance from the sun, a cozy 36 million miles, 58 million kilometers. But trust me, it's too close for comfort. Venus Earth's evil twin. It may look all nice and shiny, but trust me, it's the definition of a hot mess. Its thick atmosphere traps heat like a greenhouse on steroids, making it the hottest planet in the solar system. 900 degrees Fahrenheit, 475 degrees Celsius, hot enough to melt lead, and don't even think about catching a breeze. The air here is mostly CO2, with some sulfuric acid clouds for that extra spicy touch. Venus also spins backward, so the sun rises in the west and sets in the east, just to keep things weird. Distance from the sun, 67 million miles, 108 million kilometers. As for life, unless you're into acid rain and suffocating heat, better pass on this one. Earth home, sweet home, the only planet where you can breathe the air, drink the water, and, well, binge watch your favorite shows. We're sitting at a comfy distance of 93 million miles, 150 million kilometers from the sun, and temperatures? Well, pretty manageable compared to the rest of the planets. From lush forests to icy poles, Earth has everything, including life. Yep, we're special like that. Earth's got just the right mix of everything. Water, oxygen, gravity, to support millions of species, including us. Enjoy it while it lasts, though. Space is a rough neighborhood. Mars, the red planet. If you're into dry, dusty deserts, this one's for you. Temperatures here swing between minus 195 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 125 degrees Celsius. At night, to 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 degrees Celsius during the day in summer. Kind of like that crazy friend who's warm and cold all in one. Mars has some water frozen at its poles and underground, but don't expect a beach vacation anytime soon. Could life exist here? Maybe we're still looking. Scientists are eyeing Mars as a potential future home for humans, but let's just say it needs a little a renovation. Mars is 142 million miles, 228 million kilometers from the sun, so pack a jacket. It's chilly out there. Jupiter, the big boss of the solar system. It's so massive that over 1,300 Earths could fit inside it. Jupiter is essentially a swirling ball of gas with clouds made mostly of hydrogen and helium. And that great red spot? It's a storm that's been raging for over 300 years. That's longer than any storm on Earth by a long shot. Don't even think about landing here. Jupiter's mostly gas and clouds, so you'd just fall right through. Oh, and it has 79 moons, so Jupiter's pretty much showing off at this point. Distance from the sun, a whopping 484 million miles, 778 million kilometers. Life? Unless you're a cloud-dwelling, storm-riding alien, probably not. Saturn, everyone's favorite fashion icon with those fabulous rings. Saturn's made mostly of gas, like its buddy Jupiter, so you wouldn't have anywhere to stand. But who needs solid ground when you've got rings made of ice and rock? It's like the universe's biggest jewelry collection. These rings span over 175,000 miles, 282,000 kilometers, but are surprisingly thin, only about 30 feet thick in some places. 
Saturn is 886 million miles, 1.4 billion kilometers from the sun, and life here. Not likely, unless you can float around in a gas cloud. But hey, at least you'd have the rings to admire. Uranus, yep, I said it. This planet gets a lot of jokes, but let's give it some respect. It's the only planet that spins on its side. Imagine lying down and just rolling around the sun. It's also a little chilly. Temperatures drop to negative 371 degrees Fahrenheit minus 224 degrees Celsius, making it one of the coldest places in the solar system. The atmosphere is full of hydrogen, helium, and methane, which gives it that lovely blue-green tint. It's 1.8 billion miles, 2.9 billion kilometers away from the sun. And as for life? Well, unless you're into freezing gases and sideways sunsets, probably not. Neptune. This blue beauty is the farthest planet from the sun, a staggering 2.8 billion miles. 4.5 billion kilometers away. It's home to some of the fastest winds in the solar system, whipping around at 1,200 miles per hour, 2,000 kilometers per hour. That's faster than the strongest hurricane on Earth. Want to catch some fresh air? Good luck. It's a deep freeze out here, with temperatures plummeting to negative 373 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 225 degrees Celsius. And did I mention that Neptune has a faint ring system, too? life. Not a chance unless you're into extreme weather and sub-zero temperatures. Thanks for tuning in, Space Cadets. If you enjoyed this journey, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to join the crew for more exciting adventures. Until next time, keep your helmets on and your eyes on the stars.